Hey. I just teleported. Come on, Alonzo. That's oh, so bad. Cool. Oh my god, you arrested um new freak, how could you? Like it's how, not like I haven't done that before. Anything. Hey, I can pickpocket. Hey, I got a key card. Can I kill him? Accepting obtainables. Um, okay, sounds good. I don't think I have any obtainables that I can give you. And I'm like, well, I do, but I'm like, I don't think I was gonna give you obtainables from the beginning. Thanks, yeah, for sure. What's your opinion on Raptor? On Raptor, the the I'm assuming you're talking about the limited. I mean, if you're talking about a duped version or a regular version in terms of value, like, what do you mean? Just in general. Because if you're talking my my opinions on the Raptor as like a vehicle itself, just in, generally speaking, then it's 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 all right. Considering its its uh, value, it's I think it's well uh, valued and uh, has a cr decent amount of demand on it. So I would say that it's probably average. It's an average vehicle. It's not. It's 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 perfect for demand. It's perfect for its value. It's. I mean, it's not the best performance, but it's it's definitely OG, and it's <laughs> and it's considerably expensive. It was actually one of the, um, the least duped vehicles when it came to duping. It was like one of the least uh, duped vehicles. So, yeah. test out Raptor's top speed now so let's go ahead and spawn the car here so this is with level 5 engine all right so with the level 5 engine so it's gonna be a little faster you know than a level 1 so here we go I'm not really good at doing the drag race I'm always like swerving from side to side but I'll try my best Three, two, one, go. One sixty eight. 169 170 Alright, we got 170 with it uh, What does it say on the trading network? 170 So, I guess 170 is actually the top speed of this So the website isn't lying It is actually 170 which kind of sucks that you need like the whole, you know, drag race track to even hit 170. You know, it's kind of slow. So definitely don't get this car if you want it for speed. It's definitely not a good car for speed. Now let's go on to handling. All right, so this track is really, really good for handling. Um, trying to test how good your car turns, the acceleration because this track has many straightaways but it also has a lot of turns and twists in it so it's a very good track to test out your car's performance so here we go not bad handling wise 
I didn't have to take my finger off W that whole turn. I'm actually going the wrong way. I barely had the brake there. The handling on this truck is actually pretty good. I actually thought it would be bad. Especially for, you know, a truck. That That's good. That's very, very good. Now let's go on to the extra things about this car. Alright guys, so Raptor can actually fit um, six guys. It can fit six guys in here. So, one here, one here, one in the back, one in the front, and then same thing with the other side. So, if you're playing with a team, this would be a really good car. Like, it can fit six guys in here. It's actually great. The seating is wild on this. Now let's go on to value. So on trading network, it's worth around 15 million, which I think that's where it should be. It is an old car. Uh, I mean, I don't know. There's not really much demand for it. I don't really understand why it's 15 million actually, but it's 15 million. I don't really think it's worth the money unless you're a collector. You know, it's not really worth the money. There aren't many dupes of it, like Slime said earlier in the video. There's not many dupes, as you can see, the monthly trading is not as high as some other vehicles like the, the Proto or um, Celsius, Javelin. You know, they have like way more monthly trades than this. So that probably means that Raptor has less dupes. So it's going to be hard, harder to find a dupe than Raptor. So yeah, I don't suggest getting this vehicle unless you, you know, don't really care about speed and you're just playing for fun and you don't like fast cars. I guess Raptor could be a good one for you. Alright, one more thing before I end the video. I want to see if I can get Raptor's top speed in the game. Uh, I'm probably going to need a little bit more space than this. I'm going to back up a little more. I think, I'll need, I think I need a little bit more road for this car. Also, it's reverse speed. It's 58 miles per hour. Um, it's... I'm pretty sure it's better than other cars. It's not too bad. Alright, here we go. 3, 2, 1, go. So we have to hit 170 miles per hour in the game. That's gonna be hard. Come on, we're almost there. One seventy one? One seventy two? I think it was at one seventy three for a split second. Yeah, we went past the max speed. I mean I know on trading network it says around one seventy, so it's like it's not exact. But we went over one seventy with Raptor in the game. So I guess if you're all the way down there, you know where the bridge is and you have to get all the way to Crater Bank or something. I guess you could hit Raptor's top speed in the game. But not many people really use this car anyways. Uh, so in conclusion, basically only buy this car for if you want to collect it, you know. Don't buy it for grinding purposes. You know, basically every single cop is going to catch up to you. This is not a really good car to grind with, but if you're a collector, or if you don't care about fast cars and you want a slow car or a slower car, this car is good for you. It's a good collector's car because there's not many dupes. Very, very good. Um, reverse speed's not bad. The handling's very good on it. I honestly thought the handling would be way worse. The handling's very, very good. So that's all I have for you. Thanks for watching. See you guys.